Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The eternal gifts of Christ the King, the Apostles' glory, let us sing. And all with hearts of gladness raise, do hymns of thankful love and praise. Their faith in Christ the Lord prevailed, their hope a light that never failed. Their love ablaze o'er pathways trod, to lead them to the eternal God. In them the Father's glory shone, in them the will of God the Son. In them exults the Holy Ghost, through them rejoice the heavenly host. To thee, Redeemer, now we cry, that thou wouldst join to them on high, thy servants who this grace implore forever and forevermore. My life is at the service of God. God has given me his gift of grace. I trusted, even when I said I am sorely afflicted, and when I said in my alarm, no man can be trusted. How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? The cup of salvation I will raise. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people. O oh, precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful. Your servant, Lord, your servant am I. You have loosened my bonds. A thanksgiving sacrifice I make. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people, in the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. My life is at the service of God. God has given me his gift of grace. I do all this for the sake of the gospel, in order to share in its rewards. When the Lord delivered Zion from bondage, it seemed like a dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, on our lips there were songs. The heathens themselves said, What marvels the Lord worked for them! What marvels the Lord worked for us! Indeed, we were glad! Deliver us, O Lord, from our bondage as streams in dry land. Those who are sowing in tears will sing with when they reap. They go out, they go out full of tears, carrying seed for the sowing. They come back, they come back full of song, carrying their sheaves. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I do all this for the sake of the gospel, in order to share in its rewards. This grace has been given to me to proclaim to the nations the infinite riches of Christ. A reading from Ephesians chapter 1. Praise be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. God chose us in him before the world began to be holy and blameless in his sight. He predestined us to be adopted sons through Jesus Christ. Such was his will and pleasure that all might praise the glorious favor he has bestowed on us in his beloved. In him and through his blood we have been redeemed and our sins forgiven. So immeasurably generous is God's favor to us. God has given us the wisdom to understand fully the mystery, the plan he was pleased to decree in Christ, a plan he carried out in Christ in the fullness of time to bring all things into one in him, in the heavens and on earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. This grace has been given to me to proclaim to the nations the infinite riches of Christ. 
A reading from Colossians chapter 1. We always give thanks to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, in our prayers for you because we have heard of your faith in, in Christ Jesus and the love you bear toward all the saints, moved as you are by the hope held in store for you in heaven. You heard of this hope through the message of truth, the gospel, which has come to you, has borne fruit, and has continued to grow in your midst as it has everywhere in the world. Tell all the nations how glorious God is. Tell all the nations how glorious God is. Make known his wonders to every people, how glorious God is. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Tell all the nations how glorious God is. The word of the Lord shall endure forever. This is the message which has been proclaimed. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and to his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The word of the Lord shall endure forever. This is the message which has been proclaimed. Alleluia. Our God is the Father of light. Through the good news of his Son, he has called us to believe in the truth. Let us pray now for his holy people as we say, Lord, remember your church. Father, you raised your Son, our good shepherd, from the dead. Make us his witnesses to the ends of the earth. You sent your Son into the world to bring good news to the poor. Give us courage to bring the good news to all peoples. You sent your Son to sow the word of life. Help us to sow his word and to reap its harvest with joy. You sent your Son to make the world one through his blood. Make all of us work together for this unity. You set your Son at your right hand in the heavens. Open the gates of your kingdom to those who have died. Now let us pray as the Lord has taught us to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, you gave St. Mark the privilege of proclaiming your gospel. May we profit by his wisdom and follow Christ more faithfully. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.